the slap man i am i'm all over the board on this my friend i am too but at the same time all right let's do this everybody knows what happens you know who's got the hardest job tonight javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated now if she loses he can't win <laughs> He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a... Uh, Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. You can't do that in this world, man. You can't do that in this world, man. Arsenio, they got rules. They got rules. Like, he has a rule. The bass player, he got a rule. He got to wax his head every morning. That's a rule. <laughs> he follows the rules, man. He follows the rules. Oh, these are jokes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got too into the characters and got hurt. <laughs> first things first, I want to make a case for Chris, and then I want to make a case for Will. Because I'm not taking sides on it. I see all the angles. I want everybody else to decide. So before you do that, I want to ask you this. Who do you blame? Who do I blame overall? Yes. Probably Will. I would have to say Will because, and, and I know the old adage, there's a time and a place. That wasn't it. Oh, I totally agree with you. But I'm going to go one step further. My blame is going to be on Jada. And we will discuss after you go ahead and throw your, your pros and cons for both Will and Chris. Okay. All right. Let me start with Chris. He wasn't just some Joe Blow that has done some acting and he's hosting the awards. He's a comedian. <clears throat> what do comedians do? They roast people. Right before he got into <laughs> Jada, he was already talking to Javier Bardem and his wife, Penelope Cruz who are both nominated. And he's like, Javier, if she loses, you, you can't, can't win. win. That's right. That's not a bad thing. That's not a knock. I mean, that's, that's comedy. And yes, I understand. Jada has alopecia. She's kind of insecure about her head. But I'm going to that. Really I'm gonna get to that? that in a minute. I'm going to get to that in a minute, though. Okay. Because, yeah, when we talk Jada. But... Finishing out with Chris, <coughs> he could have ripped her a thousand different ways as a comedian. All oh, he yeah. did was make the G.I. Jane 2 reference, which was a damn good movie, by the way. And very good movie. Demi Moore, very sexy lady. Jada Pinkett, very sexy lady. I am a bald man, and I can't pull off sexy. They can't. <laughs> So uh, rounding out with Chris, with, with Chris Rock, he's a comedian doing what comedians do. You find something about somebody and you make a joke of it. And that's all it is, is a joke. It's in good, clean fun. It wasn't demeaning and it wasn't demoralizing. Not in my eyes. If I was the guy on front row and I got made fun of, hey, I'm laughing with you. Um, I would say the joke didn't generate <laughs> or, or didn't originate from a demeaning or disrespectful origin it didn't no I, I, no I, I would i would agree that but 
<laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut well, you. No, no. I mean, from the G.I. Jane 2 reference, he's referencing a movie. You're at the Oscars. He's the host of the Oscars. But he's I referencing mean, the movie because of her hairstyle. Yes. And, and, That's and, the only thing that makes that joke relevant. Exactly. It didn't have anything to do with alopecia or anything like right. that. And as a matter of fact, if you have anything to do with movies, whether you're a writer, director, producer, at the moment he said that, not only were you laughing, but you were kind of thinking, damn, they really could do a second movie and she could be in it and it could work. So Chris handled that perfectly, especially after Will got up and hit him. He still handled everything perfectly, finished out the night perfectly, and, and didn't retaliate at all. So I give props to him. You want to uh, speak on Chris before I get to Will? Yes. Um, I, am, I agree with you uh, 100% on almost everything that you said. Um, Chris handled himself and the situation professionally. Not necessarily perfectly. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I think that for him to do to, to retaliate back physically was that was not the right time, obviously, and that was not the right time for Will to do what he did. But we'll get to that anyway. But I think I have to give I have to give Chris his props for not even verbally coming back because that part right after it when he said. You know, this is the best night of television. And he was, and he goes, he was like, oh, I could, uh, uh, you know, he, there was some entanglement jokes that were going to come out of his mouth, you know. Yeah. You know, all sorts of stuff that was about to, and he reeled that in and, and did what he was supposed or should have done. I do think that he was mistreated by the Oscar people themselves because he looked at the people on the side of the stage going, like, are we still continuing here? Like, nothing, y'all just going to let this play out? But Chris, you're right. I, I have to agree with you 100%. He did everything he needed to do professionally. Yeah. Now, here's the thing about Will Smith. As soon as the joke rolled off <laughs> of uh, Chris's tongue, you kind of saw Will chuckle. You kind of saw Jada get mad. The camera then, then went off of uh, Jada and you saw Will looking at her before he got up to make his move. This is the part that I don't like. If he was immediately upset and went up there, that's one thing. You kind of chuckled too, bro. So you kind of got that it was a joke and you have a comedy background too. So at that point, everything is still professional. When you make it personal, that's more than it has to be. And, and, and he's the one that made it personal, not Chris Rock. Um, <clears throat> finishing out with Will, I've already said there's a time and a place and a way to handle things. What he did was neither. He should not have got up, he did should not have struck another man, which he did, on TV, in front of thousands of people in the auditorium, millions of people across the world. Once you do that, there's no taking it back. But then he took it a step further when he sat back down and started to cuss Chris out. Don't put, don't put my wife's name in your MF in mouth, you know, whatever he said. And Will was wrong on several counts. And I think he made himself look even more like an ass 15 minutes later when he got his award and he started talking about being a vessel of love. And his apologies were to everybody except Chris. I didn't agree with any of that. And now I'm going to finish it out by saying that a lot of people are, are online saying he did the right thing defending his wife. It's one thing to defend your wife. 
but it's how you go about it. He didn't go about it the right way. I agree. The, the, first of all, I don't know personally Chris Rock's and Will Smith's personal relationship. I don't know if there's an outstanding beef because, you know, if you search online back in 2016, Chris Rock had some jokes about him and Jada when he was actually doing hosting the Oscars then Mm. because that was when Jada and Will uh, were boycotting the Oscars because no black nominees were nominated that year. And basically, Chris said something to the fact about, you know, them boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. You know, I wasn't invited, you know, type of thing. Funny joke. Hilarious. Okay. But that was back in 2016. We have 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21. Here we are, March of 2022. I don't know. I mean, because I'm I'm not. First of all, I don't have the time nor the patience or the want to to go back and research how many jokes that Chris Rock actually said about the Smith family, right? Right. But I don't know exactly what happened. Or between those two, I don't know if that was an outstanding. And I think at that particular moment, before, let me, let me stop. Will Smith is a broken man. He has mental issues. He needs mental health. His problem is Jada Pinkett. She put that man through the ringer on national TV more than once, checked his manhood more than once, and he's under that pressure, that 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 public pressure of everybody looking at going, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I think it's no different than somebody creating, you know, if I, if, if, saying a fat joke about me you know we're joking around and somebody that i know that i'm friends with you know you know says some fat creates a fat joke about me yeah i'm gonna laugh because i'm with the group but that doesn't mean i'm not gonna take offense to it the difference is is that my offense is why am i gonna be mad at you for saying that to me when it's my problem i'm the one that made myself this way you know what i mean right so i think that with all of that other stuff that's happened in the past, that when Will looked at his woman and see that she was emotionally hurt, that's when that mental side of whatever he's got inside of him kind of snapped and he reacted the way he reacted. We all know that's not the way to react. We all, we all know that. And I'm gonna lead into Jada here a little bit too. This is where Jada should have grabbed Will before he got up and protected her man from embarrassing himself in front of all those people at that place and the national audience or the worldwide audience that was watching. Marriage is a two-way street. My wife is going to fight for me. She's going to battle for me. She's going to protect me just as much as I protect her. And some women are more fierce. You know, I don't necessarily want to get in a squabble with my wife. She she plays dirty. Okay. <laughs> uh, so in my mind, Jada should have done something to protect her man from that issue. She could see. She knows him more than anybody, better than anybody. I personally think she used, kind of pushed him to do what he did. Now, I could be completely off base, but that's just my my two cents for what it's worth. She had the, it's not like he got up immediately and did something. Like you said, he laughed, he waited. Hell, even Chris Rock was like, oh, it's a good, it was just a little joke. You know, that wasn't even a bad joke. And before Will Smith got up. That's right. So it took it a nanosecond for, for Will to even physically get up and react. I'm pretty sure Jada could have stopped that and should have stopped that. I think she wanted that to happen. In my personal opinion, I agree. I think Will Smith needs help. He needs professional help. And there's so many celebrities that you think are great that wind up taking their own life. I mean, we'll just look at Robin Williams as an example. Nobody would have known that that man was fighting those demons. That's true. Will Smith is showing his demons to you on live 
television. His inner circle needs to get him help. Yeah, I mean, if you've read some of the excerpts out of his book, oh my God, and you know they've had the uh, the whole entanglement situation. I mean, lately, his whole life has just been thrown out there in front of everybody to dissect and uh, everybody put their two cents in on what is and what should be. So I know that that can't be good for somebody's mental health. And when you say that Jada, whether it be directly or indirectly, is a negative influence on him, I agree with you 100%. Because there are so many things, not just Sunday night, but there's so many things that she could have done differently in their entire relationship. Yeah. And that would keep things from coming to where they are now. The, personally, as a couple, they just got too much of their shit out in the open. That's why. Right. And it's, and I mean, they, I may have read things wrong. From what I understand, they have an open marriage, an open relationship. They can have relations outside of each other. That right there in itself is a union that's not yoked. That's they're not they're not together as a team. They're always going to be button heads for whatever reason. And then you and go I've back always to that. hated that term, open relationship. Yeah. If you have an open relationship, that's just like saying, "Today well, I want to be married to you. Tomorrow I don't want to be married to exactly. you. Exactly. Next day we'll exactly. get married. Yeah. I mean, if you go back and look at that video of when they were actually going through the entanglement issue. Will Smith was broken emotionally right there for you to see. She didn't bat an eye. And no. she she even went to the point of saying, I had an entanglement with this guy instead of saying, I was we were sleeping together. You know, I yeah. had a relationship, you know, a physical relationship. She wanted to sugarcoat it and all this other crap, you know. That to me, until will separate himself from Jada. He's not going to be who he is striving to be, that vessel of love that he was talking about. And I get, and you know, you were talking about his uh, <clears throat> his apology that he didn't mention Chris Rock. I don't think that apology at that time, he should have said anything to Chris Rock via that way. He, he was addressing the people in front of him and the academy that he just got the award from. He should immediately got off stage and walked backstage and apologized to Chris Rock man to man. Yeah. That's what he should have done. Now, I don't know. I know I've seen uh, they both put out statements yesterday apologizing to one another, you know, which yeah, I, I don't think that. Chris Rock owes him an apology. Uh, maybe for, hey, I'm sorry that my joke offended your wife type of thing, but, mm -hmm. you know, these are jokes. I'm a comedian, you know. You And where do we draw the I line with comedians? I'm sorry for all the other comedians that are going to exactly. be doing things like that. That's you what know? I'm hearing to say, because where do we draw the line? What, what, can they, what can they and can they not talk about now? Right, and I mean, would Chris Rock have, I mean, would Will Smith have gotten up and smacked Dave Chappelle? No. <laughs> Would he have smacked Pat Williams? No. <laughs> Would he have smacked Kevin Hart? I don't think he would have smacked Kevin Hart. No. You know, uh, you damn sure know if Bernie was alive, he wasn't smacking him. No. You know, so he had, he chose the right person to smack <laughs> that night. Yeah. You know, um, and, and and then I go back to Chris Rock when I said he handled everything professionally, but not perfectly. Now I go into my self-defense mode, my martial arts instructor mode. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as somebody puts their hands on you, all bets are off. There is no, uh, you know, turn the other cheek. I am not biblical. <laughs> you know, I am not from the Bible. You know, uh, you can apologize to the Lord afterwards. I'm going to arrange the meeting. That's kind of like my <laughs> mindset. All right. That's my I like mindset. That. Uh, but, <clears throat> you know, don't, don't start it. But if it's started, finish it. That's kind of 
how I raise my kids and how I train my students and things like that. Um, but Chris Rock did what he was supposed to do. And if he would have reacted physically, it'd have been a lot worse. It really would have been a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, so he did, he, he absolutely 110% did the right thing. Um, but if I was Will, I'd be sleeping one eye open. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you. Will needs a little bit of help. <laughs> I don't know who it would be that would reach out to him and say, Hey, you need to talk about it. You need to see somebody about it. You need to do something about it. It just really depends on who's all in his inner circle. And that's the you problem know, well, with a lot of celebrities. Denzel come up to his defense and Tyler Perry, I think, you know, that during a commercial, they showed something like that. You know, those are the guys that need to put, hey, you know, and maybe they are, you know, we don't know. Yeah, I mean. Somebody needs to, though. You really don't want to take sides on any of it because there, there's so much that could have happened so differently if just one chain of events had uh taken place so Sorry. i'm not sitting up here saying you know it's all on will smith i'm definitely not saying it's all on chris rock he's doing out of the three will chris and jada chris is the one that's least guilty in all this because he's simply doing his job his oh, job yeah, was hosting definitely. his job was comedy the remark probably didn't hit right with them but name me a comedian that's hit right on every single joke they've told right and will should have said something afterwards put him to the side during commercial something he didn't need to do what he did if and it was you you mentioned all the comedians if it was eddie murphy would will have got up I, I mean, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't mean, think he would. That's what makes me think there's something else underlying between mm -hmm. that relationship between Chris Rock and Will Smith. There, obviously, Will Smith fe felt comfortable enough with himself physically to walk up on that stage and smack a grown ass man across the face. You have to have some sort of. There has to be something underlying there. And, and when you talk about comfort. If Jada is easily offended like that and not comfortable with her own self, what could she have done differently? If you're not comfortable with the hair thing, you're in Hollywood. They got wigs on every street. Um, you've, you've been out and about ever since you shaved your head off. And it's never been an issue until now. Right. Um, Once you make the, the issue public of what you're going through, somebody that says it, you, you, you really have no, no reason to be upset. You know what I mean? Because you're putting right. it out there for everybody to know anyway. So, I don't know. And again, it was a bad look. Very, very attractive lady. So, she, she, she can make bald look sexy. She shouldn't oh, yeah. feel any kind of way about that. Um. Obviously, you're one of the Hollywood elite. You're sitting on the front row at the Oscars. So you're not doing too bad in life. So now on a side note, what did you hear that they're talking about the Academy may pull that Oscar from Will Smith? Take it back. I have not did heard that. that? <clears throat> um, this is what I'll say about that then. Why? Why pull it? I agree. It's a separate thing. He earned that it, from his role. The role and the incident are two separate things. The only thing that I can say is if they pull Will Smith's Academy Award, they need to pull Harvey Weinstein's as well. Agreed. 